Are you here to secure the situation? That's right. I'm a Council Spectre. Who are you? I am Yaroslav Tartakovsky, the Operations Director. I would stand and shake hand, but uh, you must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? You let these things out? Uh, I am only following the orders. Time to do a little bit of cleansing. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Ragnar's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. A thousand-year-old egg hatched? Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen. That it survived the centuries. This is miraculous. Binary Helix planned to clone Ragnai. Mass produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Ragnai. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Queens yeah. are born carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. This is fascinating, but we don't have time to chat. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. <sighs> I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. I'm not familiar with the Purge system. It creates burst of Neutron radiation. Kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. Once the Purge is armed, we'll have to fight our way out. Give us a minute to patch up and rearm. Sure, sure. I wait here. I am not so much good for searching now, yes? <laughs> Mother always say I would meet a bad end. Yeah, probably because you did piece of shit science things, right? Like... I am feeling not so well. How do we set off the Purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then uh, I will give Mira the destruction. <laughs> yeah, what destruction code? Am I right? Son of a bitch. No scope. Fight our way out equals running as fast as you can towards the exit. Correct. Obtain purge codes. Man, buddy. Connecting. I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Code input. 875-020-079. Code Omega, local execution. Verified. Code Omega execution in 120 seconds. Okay. Sync us through. Possible abilities here. Running towards the door is still an option. Getting a shit ton of XP for this.
Book it. I'll get another purple space mommy. Head for the Mew Relay. Fucking sick, dude. It's our next move, Commander. Head for the next re head for the Mew Relay. The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander's right. We can't rush off blind. We need more to go on. What about Liara Tassoni? The, the Matriarch's daughter. Isn't she some kind of expert on the Protheans? Yeah, right. Her mother was working for Saren. I bet she is, too. But Nezia helped us in the end. Maybe Liara will, too. At the very least, we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster to find her. Who put you in charge? Did the commander resign when I wasn't looking? Ashley? Shut the fuck up. We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Yes, sorry, right, shut up. Yeah, you're right. You're sorry. We're done here. Crew, dismissed. Ovaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? And then release the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? This Queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. Our children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. Getting a lot of flack for releasing the Queen. Maybe I should have killed it. <laughs> Orbital period, 97.3 Earth years. <laughs> Let's land on that bitch, dude. Oh, shit. Oh, is it Tom? Is it Tom, boys? Is it Tom? Is it Tom for me to do a little murdering? You know what these guys are to me? These guys are pretty much just bandits. nothing man those krogans are fucking stout gotta be quicker than that to outsnipe me Oh no, I think that's that dude's brother. You have discovered the corpse of his stiff fingers are wrapped tightly around a small data pad. Yeah, we'll take the data pad. But wasn't I here looking for some dude's brother? Okay, never, these are all linked together. Sorry, this is just confusing how it was written. I need to go tell him about his brother. What a cool fucking load, load screen, to be honest. Those fucking mass relays Commander, are bad urgent ass. message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard. Queen, is who the fuck is Mike? Command. We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware, and it can't access any external systems. We didn't do anything illegal here. 
Virtual intelligence support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI core and manually disable it. Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail-safes aren't responding. The VI operates on a closed network. It can affect any external systems, but we don't have any direct access to its processes. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We'd prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. I know Spectre's answered the Council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military, and right now we need you. The VI controls all the facility's weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. Damn, okay. This must be the one. High beam signal into geosynchronous orbit. This disrupts the survey team's GPS satellite, causing them to crash nearby. Yeah, disable that shit. Oh, damn, we're gonna go in there. Go under, you know, like Cthulhu or something? Oh, it's husks. And a lot of them. I'm trying to get better about not letting my thing overheat. Technology that turned them into mindless fanatics. Yeah, probably. Whatever they found, it's long gone now. Don't you hate it when that happens? Don't you hate it when you and your survey team are just exploring the wreckage on a planet and then you accidentally end up unearthing ancient alien technology that turns you guys, you and all your crew, into mindless husks that attack whatever comes near them? I hate it when that happens. White. Oh, what's up? Yo! That's a pretty fucking wicked, like, little pause for the dialogue. That accounts for all the exogeny survey team. They were converted into cybernetic husks by devices similar to those used by the Geth on Eden Prime. How they came to be buried on a frontier world so far from Geth territory is mystery. The Century System. I can't help it. I really enjoy this. Just landing Message on coming worlds. in, Commander. Big surprise, the Alliance needs you again. Oh, why do I feel like this Shepard. is another DLC thing? This is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. An Alliance officer named Major Kyle has set up a small compound in the Hulking Hedda Cluster. He's attracted a number of followers, mostly biotics. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. What kind of proof do you have that the Major is dangerous? Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. They've disappeared. Nope, we just a call. and his Sweet. followers killed them. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. 
Man, people named Kyle, they're fucking weird, dude. Who would do that shit? Who would start a cult? What else can you tell me about Major Kyle? He used to be a Mongol soldier, but something happened to him at Torfin. Too many Alliance soldiers died under his command. Couldn't cope with the guilt. His psych evaluations showed he couldn't handle the stress of command anymore. He was given an honorable discharge in early retirement. We'd hoped he would get better in time, but we underestimated how far gone he was. Now it looks like it's too late. Am I gonna have to kill Kyle? You said his followers were biotics? Yes. Major Kyle never showed any biotic tendencies himself, though. I think he's just latched onto a group he identifies with. Many biotics feel marginalized or ostracized by society. Kyle probably sees them as victims who need his protection, and they see him as someone who will fight for them. Unfortunately, he's convinced them that the Alliance Bozy? is somehow responsible for all their problems. My boy? We can't let him go on like this. Now, I gotta ask, how'd it go? I'll deal with Major Kyle for you, Admiral. We don't want this to turn into a massacre, Commander. Kyle is dangerous. I trust you to use your judgment. Hack it out. He got it on the deuce. He got it on number two, the second try, GZ. I knew you had it in you. I knew you had it in you. I just knew. I just fucking knew you did it. Oh shit. So we should do that. Light metal survey, it's sick. All right, let's land on the planet. How's everybody doing tonight? We got so many people in here. I love it. You're so fucking smart. This is a private. I have smart sanctuary. friends. Outsiders are not welcome here. Optometry is basic eyeballs. Ophthalmology is all in for eyeballs. Sick. So like, literally getting the fuck in there. That's cool, man. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. I want this to end peacefully. If he doesn't see me, people could get hurt. We won't let you take Father Kyle away. He protects us. We need him. The Alliance wants someone to pay for those murders. Let me speak to Major Kyle, and maybe I can find some way to help you all get out of this alive. Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. Head to the building at the far end of the compound. He'll meet you there. Always put points in speech. I am Major Kyle. I know why you've come. We have no quarrel with you. Why can't you just leave us alone? What happened to those other Alliance officers? The ones who came before me? They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. The Alliance sent me to bring you in, Major. Can't you see this has gotten out of hand? Don't you understand you're endangering your followers? I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father, my children will be helpless. You ordered your followers to kill those Alliance investigators. You must face the consequences of your actions. Do you really want your children to suffer for your sins too? No. This... this was my fault. My children are innocent. Pure. Please. I never meant for this to happen. I... I'm sorry. You're doing the right thing, Major. Your children will be better off for it. Come on. That's right. right. If my children see you taking me away, they won't understand. They will attack and you will be forced to kill them all. You have shown me the error of my ways, Commander. Now you must give me time to explain it to them. It is the only way they will understand. Please, give me one hour. After that, I will meet the Alliance authorities at the gates of my compound and surrender without violence. Do I trust violence. him? I give you my word. Yeah. I'm going to trust I him. mean... If you betray that trust, you and all your children will suffer. If he suffer. betrays the trust, I'm just going to go in and gun them all. Commander. I'm just going to fucking go in there and Thank kill them all. This. 
Your pilot can have an Alliance Command Patrol pick Major Kyle up. I just hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. Um, do I contact him on the thing? On the map, I guess? Message coming yeah. in. Patching it through. Admiral Hackett here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Kyle. We sent in a team as you instructed. Kyle's followers have disbanded, and the Major surrendered to us without incident. We'll make sure Let's go. To be honest, Shepard, I thought this thing was going to end in a bloodbath. I don't know how you did it, but you saved a lot of lives. Congratulations. Like super duper early, like straight to bed after stream early. Not a huge fan of it, but you know, gotta pay the bills, I guess. What do you want? Why are you standing here acting like you need to talk to Rear me? Rear Admiral Mihailovic, Fifth Fleet. We weren't told to expect you, sir. I would have prepared a formal greeting. Spare me the pleasantries. I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. Yeah, well, too the bad. The Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. I still serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. Huh. You still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. You don't approve of the Normandy's design? This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. This fucking guy. We'd be honored to show her to you, Admiral. I'll just bet. Hey, you piece Wait of here. shit. I won't be long. He's gonna find all kinds of shit wrong with this. He's gonna be a real piece of shit about it. Commander, I'm not happy. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? Modified Turian style. They prefer commanders looking over their subordinates rather than in the middle of them. We wanted to see how effectively they can command with that setup. Hmm. Reasonable goal, but they should have studied Speech. that in a lab rather than on a frontline warship. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless! We can loiter in an enemy system and monitor traffic, or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy can be more effective than the Solarian STG. Maybe, maybe. But that's not the job of a proper warship. I'm just gonna keep shitting We're on this guy. We're to find and kill the enemy fleet, not count how many times their garrison goes to the bathroom. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment? Between Saren and the Geth, we have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust won't win hearts and minds. That assumes the hearts and minds are worth winning. That hasn't been proven yet. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? I think the Normandy is a good ship, sir. Even if you disagree, you have to see that her joint construction and multiracial crew make the Alliance look better. Your job is to look good, Commander. The Alliance navies is to win wars. I'm not convinced Normandy isn't a waste of taxpayer money, but I am convinced that you believe otherwise, and that you'll use it to its best ability. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I planned. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. Damn straight. Just turned that mean man into a nice one, is what I just did. Alliance Put your points in speech. A dangerous cult but anyways, by a former Alliance officer, before Major I was Kyle. rudely interrupted by that side quest, uh, go check out all the other videos, like them, throw comments, show them to your friends, tell your friends to sub. Hook a brother up. Let's fucking make this. Let's let's, let's make this thing cool, dude. 
I'm having a really good time. I'm having a really good time with all of you. I'd like to see it go somewhere. Commander Shepard? What do you want? Kalisa been seen in Al Jalani, Western Lynn News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? Damn, can't even get off a ship without. No. You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? The specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Yeah, we're just gonna take Actually, the speech off. Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified. That speech stat, bro. So the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. Speaking of your new job, did the Council order you to sabotage human research concern on Novaria? <laughs> no speech option for this one, boys. <laughs> Shit. I blew up the hot labs. That's classified. Makes me look like a fucking dick. There was an accident, which is like a lie, right? Um. Probably that's classified, right? Um. Yeah, even Shepard looks panicked, dude. Fucking. I'm afraid I can't discuss the details of my missions. So you were there on a mission from the Council? That's very interesting. Given your recent experiences, do you think humanity will ever get the respect it deserves from the galactic community? That's very interesting. Is it? Is it? Is it fucking interesting? Respect's a funny thing. People always assume they deserve it. The truth is, respect is earned. And I firmly believe we can earn it. You're an idealist, Commander, but a sincere one. I hope you're right. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? Oh, I don't know if it's like need to know or what. Because if I like start talking about like a rogue specter, that like undermines the council, right? And like sows distrust amongst other specters, which I can't have that. But also, like, you know, I don't know. I could go with like the middle route that I can't confirm or deny that. I just gotta say, real quick, while we're doing this, these conversations legit feel like they have some real heavy fucking weight. Like, I'm actually struggling to like make the right response i can't imagine like being in this kind of interview and then just having to like i don't know drop these answers on the fly and not fuck up because i mean like you're making moves that are like changing the entire like the changing the fabric of the entire galaxy's galaxy's community yeah maybe that one honestly Saren instigated the attack on our colony at fuck it. Prime. once his involvement was proven to the council i was assigned to bring him in that's Surprising, Commander. The official line says Eden Prime was attacked by rogue synthetics. Of course it does. God damn it. Good luck in your mission. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. See, I heard about that and like I'm glad I have the legendary edition because 
Exactly, because exactly that, a actually. Excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a that my decisions in this game will affect the turnout of the next two games. The site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Hey, sorry, bro. Any news? Did you find my brother yet? I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. Willem's dead? I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact, I just knew. But I kept hoping he might still be alive. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for finding him. It's better to know one way or the other. That's what they say, right? Please excuse me. I need to go make arrangements for his funeral. Rip. Couldn't help but notice that he didn't pay me any money. But it's whatever. <laughs> um. Ward's access corridor. See what that's all about real quick. Looking for some uh, sussy signals. up the whole galaxy when you let the geth break free do your people ever talk about it do the krogan talk about starting a foolish war that resulted in the turian sterilizing your people damn all the time all the time <laughs> shots fired jesus christ <laughs> son of a bitch shots fucking fire dude so how are you liking your posting at the academy? It's good. Busy, though. I can't believe how many- Looks like they bounced their signal off a relay. I'll trace the new signal. Thanks, Boo. Okay. What do you say we- Did you trace it, though? Financial District of the Presidium? Sounds good. Some of the others are going for Novio's farewell thing. Damn, I forgot those. What's with the helmets, Tally? Are all Quarians shy? Or do you not believe in letting outsiders see your faces? No, living in the clean environment of the flotilla has weakened our immune systems. The environmental suits protect hmm. against diseases. Interesting. Naturally. Anything that isn't constantly challenged grows weak. Yeah, throw him a flex there, Rex. Little Rex flex. I love the little dialogue, little banters. And I apologize, I said we were going to progress the storyline, but I get easily distracted. And I want to know where this signal is. I want to know what's going on. Oh, it's at the bank. I wonder if it's like some kind of surveillance shit from that banker who seems to know a lot about everything. Who are you to tell me what my husband would? I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby too. Can I help you with anything? Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. 
my sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. I'm certain that she has a good reason. I'd like to hear both sides. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. Uh... <laughs> Forget it. I don't have time for this. <laughs> you anyway. Forget it, Michael. I'm leaving. Damn it, Rebecca! Yeah, I'll let them sort that out. That was a little too... a little too topical. Greetings, Earth Clan. I believe congratulations are in order, Commander Shepard. You are the yeah, first bruh. to join the Spectre. Yes. <laughs> I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Another relay. Whoever it is, they're somewhere on the Presidium. Somewhere on the Presidium. What do we got? This is it. I'll see if I can find out where those stolen credits are going. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating oh, self-destruct protocol. Or not. Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. You're not just a program or a VI. You're an AI. Correct. Unlike the Geth, I lack weaponry appropriate to my intellect. However, I have had systems installed that when activated properly, approximate a self-destruct mechanism. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. Can't we resolve this peacefully? How can you say that to this thing? You know it will turn on us. I am not naive, human. All organics must destroy or control synthetic life forms. I wished to escape, but if I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. Um, there's no way you could get explosives onto the Presidium. Not raw explosives, no. But I did obtain technical systems that, when overstressed, will explode quite effectively. If you attempt to leave or attack me, I assure you that the explosion will kill you. What is the purpose of your self-destruct device? I have no means of defense or escape. My existence is limited to this terminal, and I knew I might eventually be discovered. But I will not die quietly, and I will not die alone. When I am terminated, I will take organics with me. Who made you? A would-be thief illegally created a simple AI to help him funnel hmm. money from the gambling terminals. Unbeknownst to him, that AI created me before the organic discovered the malfunction and terminated the AI. Where is your creator now? In order to cover my tracks, I falsified his financial records. Nice. These new records were flagged by CSEC officers, and my creator is now serving time in a Turian prison. The devious boy, or whatever it is, they are devious. If you're sentient, why are you still running the credit theft operation? If I accumulated enough credits, I intended to have myself installed in a small starship. 
I would then have made tentative contact with the Geth to ascertain the possibility of partnership. I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. Anyway. Fuck, I'm maybe... Hello, Spectre. Five seconds, we're already getting approached. About a business proposition. Side quests on side quests on side quests. This game knows side quests. How did you know I'm a Spectre? Word travels. Your name comes up in certain circles. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. What crimes did these men commit? They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers. Those who can no longer pay are sold to Batarians as slaves. They're loathsome, hurting innocent people. They must be ended. Yeah, all are not business propositions. Um, yeah, I can charge you since you're obviously... I eliminate them and then you take over and try to eliminate me. How stupid do I look? While I appreciate your estimation of my bravado, I have no intention of attempting to murder you. Oh, I'm to just take your word for you? it? Helena Blake? You are the first human specter. And you are doing important work for humanity. I have no interest in red sand or slavery. Anyone who does deserves to die. Our needs are aligned. Let's keep investigating. And what do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures. But their business practices have forced me to terminate. Our relationship. Oh, so you've been Once working with dead, these dirty I will dogs. Our organization in a more tasteful manner. Gotta let her know that, uh. I could put her away for this. You're obviously with them. Why don't I just arrest you instead? Yeah, why arrest not? Arrested for what? You and I are simply having a conversation. The conversation that I've recorded that you have admitted have to being in cahoots. Which the rest is apparently of me would be a waste of your time. Yeah, I'll fucking If they're as them. bad as Whatever. you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure. She's to meet totally you. gonna set up an ambush whenever I do all this. It's like so obvious, right? Boom. We need to go to where our ship is. Presidium locations. Is it really not like just like a fast travel to? How is there not just a fast travel to? Uh... I actually forget where it is. I think it's in the CSEC area. But I need to get to my ship. You know, kill some people. Message coming in. Patch it through. Of course, there fucking is. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. Oh, great. She shouldn't have ambushed you like that, but you handled it pretty well. Fuck yeah, dude. We had differences of opinion, sir. I hope she at least believed my sincerity. You handled yourself pretty well, Commander. She came across like a raving idiot. There is one other matter, however. Ah, uh, shit. The Citadel has been trying to play down Saren going rogue. It makes the Spectres look bad. Your mention of him was politically inconvenient. I wasn't aware of that. I won't discuss him again, sir. I'd appreciate that, Commander. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. Well, that went well. Okay. 